What's up, YouTube? This is MadCock83. Today I'm going to go over real quick a lot, a very, very common problem right now with the AT launcher, which is actually not a problem with the launcher, but I'm a lot of people are running into this problem, so I'm going to show you real quick how to fix it. Uh, a bunch of people are starting packs, uh, and it all of a sudden the mind screen box will disappear, and you'll come back to your console and your log. Uh, to check to see if this is one of your problems, first thing you do, go over here and click the upload log. Copy that. Uh, Paste.atllauncher.com view blah 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 blah. Put that into one of uh, into your browsers. You should pull up something that looks a lot like this. And it's probably hard to see. I'll try to zoom in on it if I can. Uh, your fifth line down, you're going to look for something like this. This is 64-bit Java. If you have false here, that's your problem. A lot of the packs are going to require a lot of memory, which 32-bit does not allow. And a lot of people are making the mistake of installing Java 32-bit. Now to fix this, first thing you'll want to do, come over here, go to your computer, right-click on it, hit Properties, and make sure that you have a 64-bit operating system. You can see it's right under there, right under your rating processor, installed memory, and whatnot. It will say 64 bit operating system. Now, I'm going to get rid of the AT launcher. First thing you want to do after that, go to your control panel, go to uninstall programs, and get a list of what Java you have installed. Right now, I have three different versions. I have uh, Java 7 Update 60, which is 32-bit, which I did on purpose and installed this to show you what to do afterwards. Um, Java SE development kits are for uh, other things. They're for making Java programs like Minecraft or mods for Minecraft. Those don't matter. Don't worry about them. Just look for Java 7. At least hopefully have 7. Uh, just go ahead right there, click on it, hit uninstall. and it is uninstalling the 32-bit version of Java. The problem you see inside of here is it doesn't say whether or not it's 64 or 32-bit. It does for the uh, development kit, but not for regular Java. I'm going to put links up here to both what I'm about to talk about next, which is reinstalling Java. Um, a lot of people are going with the current update which is Java 7. I and a bunch of uh, other people who mess around with the DNS pack have found that Java 8 seems to work really well. It's just not a uh, it's not released under a stable build just yet but it, I've been using it for the last year maybe maybe a year. It's been a while. I know it's been a while that I've had Java 8 and it works great for me but anyway I'm going to show you. I'm going to put links up to both uh, Java 8 just has a little, uh, few benefits that you won't have to worry about this stuff anymore. But anyway, accept the agreement right here and make sure you come down here, go to Windows, look for 64 bit, and hit that EXE right there and download it. I think this is where a lot of people are messing up. They're just coming across and hitting the first download you see. And make sure you download the JRE, which is Java Runtime Environment. That's what programs use that are running on Java. The JDK is Java Development Kit, which means you're trying to make something for Java. Uh, general users don't need that. If you're just running Minecraft or the AT Launcher or Mod Pack from it, you want the JRE. Uh, I'm not going to download them. Kind of already did that. There's the Java 7 one, Java 8. I'm going to go ahead and install Java 8. And just hit uh, install. The process for Java 7 is exactly the same. And once it's finished, just hit closed. Now, if we go back, look at our control panel, install programs. I'm not actually going to install it, just looking at it, you'll see that it has Java 8 64 bit. And close that out. Open up your launcher one more time. Go to settings and this has already detected Java 8, but if it doesn't, just keep hitting, just hit reset, and it should pick up on the new the new path file to the Java you just installed. Save your settings, make sure you hit save and OK, and you're ready to go. 
find the pack that you want to play and hit play and enjoy it. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you stopped by to watch. If you have any questions, please put it down at the bottom. I'm sorry if I went a little too fast, but you can find me in the AT Launcher IRC or the DNS IRC channel. Uh, my name is Matt Guy 3 Let me know if you need any help. Have a nice day.